Ford said, my problem with Barstool is the history of unapologetic misogyny, racism, xenophobia, and the repeated condoning of non-consensual sex. If not wanting to associate with that makes me a part of cancel culture or constitutes virtual signaling or being woke, I'm okay with that. Now, I want everybody's opinion, but before we start, keep in mind that what Gord did was associate a podcast he says he listens to that is owned by this organization. So he's playing guilt by association saying he likes that podcast, which is a Barstool podcast, but he doesn't like Barstool and he won't go on anything Barstool, which is fine. That's his fucking prerogative, right? I've got no issue with it. Where it gets dicey is a lot of his colleagues go on Barstool properties like Spit and Chicklets, Ray Ferraro, Darren Drager, Bob McKenzie, all the big swinging dicks big that boys. do hockey in Canada, yep. right? So what he's effectively saying is all of those guys that I work with condone that behavior too, Case in point, we're talking about him saying that Barstool uh, promotes rape content, right? These are allegations and then allegation on top of the association, which is I'm not alleging that these guys have talked about this. I'm saying they still do. To the best of my knowledge, I don't know if they do. I'm pretty sure they can't. You can't do rape humor. That doesn't go very far. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that there is all kinds of virtue signal. It's almost like Gord went, in my opinion, sort of went out of his way to, yes. and I know he was getting attacked. I get it. But it felt like he sort of went out of his way to sewer the site, put himself in a position of purity uh, over and above the content these guys are doing. And that has led to this issue. That's my and opinion. I'd love to hear from you guys. I, I, I Look, I heard Gord Miller's a really good guy. I think I've met him a couple of times and that's if you're a good guy, I like you no matter what you, how you think. You're good to me, and you look at me in my eye and, and, and say, "Hey, Camp, I'll like you one way or the other." Unless you're right. a psychopath and you do what. But got a great you, you call. Get, you get my point, okay? Yeah. But I think you're right with that, though. It's like, why even bring that up? Then who told you to bring that? So you're bringing it up to now. You cause a storm, and now again, you're you're typecasting yourself, and you're putting yourself in a category that's somewhat somewhat of a hierarchy than I guess Bob McKenzie. And then mm -hmm. Ryan Whitney and Ray Ferrar, who's a great guy, like the best guys in the world, and a million other guys that went on Spit and Chicklets that are associated with Barstool. So what is it? So are they all bad too? Are they all thinking the same way as Dave Portnoy does about what he did bad? Like, does it all coexist? No, it doesn't. Now, if you want to chirp Dave Portnoy, is he an ass? I think he is. Like, is he funny at times? Sure. Is he like, can I talk to him and would he even like look at me in my eyes? Probably not. So I, I don't give a shit about him. Do I like Barstool as a whole? Yeah, man. Like, I do a radio show every damn day. I got to look up some shit. They got a bunch of stuff going on. Are they the best company ever? Are they the perfect company? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But what I do know is they hire a lot of women. Mm -hmm. They hire a lot of women. And the women they hire are successful as fuck. His, her, his CEO is cooler than all of us, smarter than all of us, makes more money than all of us. They have podcasts, all women podcasts that are kicking everybody's ass on there. They're giving them a platform to be successful. Is the CEO whatever. a woman? Yes. Yeah, Erica Nardini. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, wow. Okay, kicking I didn't know that. Taking names. Damn right. I didn't know Powerful that. woman powerful yeah. woman and so it's like well what well what like how many people do you hire gord how many women do you hire how many do so it's like they're still given an opportunity are they perfect is any big company perfect any big no. company any big company anywhere has there been no. shit that went down of course there is so my point is like i get the weird shit that barstool has gone through it's hard to have a media company without shit like that happening let's be honest with ourselves but i don't see much of that and again i'm not sensitive i wish i was I wish I was I wish I was fucking sensitive as shit. Then I'd understand a little bit more with everybody else. But I, I I understand where people could be that way, but it's just not me. But for Gord Miller, I think you could have just like not done anything and made your point. But now you went above and beyond to be out there and the show everybody how you're relevant. above the fray, right? Like yeah, he's, yeah. He, his whole thing was he looks down on that, you. Exactly.